We are now passing Sony Picture Studios, home of Columbia Pictures and TriStar Productions. Harry Culver himself encouraged Thomas H. Ince, a well-known director, to move his studio Inceville. from Pacific Palisades to Culver City. In the same time frame, Ince. he co-founded Triangle Film Corporation. Now, if you notice, the entrance of the studio is shaped like a Greek colonnade, which was a design encouraged by Ince. Ince. He created some stages for his studio, but ended up selling the studio to his partners. Ince. He relocated and built Culver Studios just down the street from here. Ince. Triangle Studios were later sold to Samuel Goldwyn, who added more sound stages. In 1924, there was a merger between three major film companies, organized and arranged by Lowe's Theater's president, Marcus Lowe's. The Metro Pictures Corporation, Goldwyn Studios, and Louis B. Mayer Productions merged to form Metro Goldwyn Mayer, or MGM, and moved into the studios. MGM's biggest titles include hits like Gone with the Wind, Wizard of Oz, and Singing in the Rain. MGM added the two large backlots you see today. MGM lost its connection with low seaters and financially struggled before being purchased by Kirk Cor- Kirkorian, who ended the studio. Kirkorian sold MGM memorabilia and used the money to begin his popular hotel chain, MGM Grand Hotels. The studio fell into the hands of Sony when Warner, when Warner Communications acquired the land. Columbia Pictures, who was contracted by Warner Bros., moved into the studio. Sony acquired the property and invested $100 million into the studio complex. Three years later, the studio was complete. Sony Studios takes up a considerable amount of land here in Culver, but it provides a unique addition to a fascinating city. For example, Sony Studios offers regular tours. Additionally, it is always fun to see the vast movie props and scenes being set up within the studio's walls.